Hey everybody, Ann here. For the first time in a long time, I'm sitting out on my porch and I'm actually enjoying being outside. It's cooled down a little bit. And uh, so I've been doing some canning and some cutting down stuff. Well, it's actually almost kind of down by itself. Um, I haven't been sleeping well because it's just been too hot at night and I don't want to run the generator overnight. So, uh, today's a good day. It's a nice day and I've been just getting dirty and digging in the garden. And, uh, so the next few clips are just going to be like a combination of the last few days. See that tree over there? It comes up this way and it's just cracked and it's actually come a little bit further down than I initially saw it. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm just going to have to start taking some of the little limbs off first. Okay, you've got a little bit better idea of how big this tree is. And it kind of splits off. That little limb is holding it up off the ground as well as some of this over here. Um, it's a big tree. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, I think I'm going to start by taking this off first. Got it. The other half is still hanging up in the trees. I'll get it later. So, uh, I think the next part is just to get some of these more smaller stuff off and then start cutting it from over here. So that each time it just comes down a little bit more like this. And hopefully at the top of the tree where it's bent over, it'll hang on. Well, it's pinched. I got it stuck. I didn't pull out in time enough to hit it from the bottom. And now it's stuck solid. It's not coming out. I've even tried wedging wood up underneath of it to kind of bring it up to release it but it's not coming out. So, and I've even take the battery out just in case, um, cause I don't want that thing starting to turn when I'm close to the blade. Anyhow, one of these three things I think will do it. And, uh, so put down in the comment section, which you think <laughs> I used to get this chainsaw unstuck. Well, looky there. Ha <laughs> ha. I went inside to take a break because I was getting frustrated and it just came apart. Bonus. I managed to make that cut without pitching it. And this one, I can hear it cracking from here and cracking from where it's bent over up at the top of the tree. So I think I'm just going to let it do its thing and kind of separate and just stay out of the way you know there we go yeah this is a bigger job than I thought it was gonna be it's still cracking so I think I'm just gonna save the rest of this for later and just separate these two big pieces and maybe try and pull that out and cut some more of it up but this is really unstable so can you see up there? All the way up there, that's where it's cracked. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a big job. Here's another view of where it's cracked. So, I, I cleaned up a little bit more. Like I said, I'm just going to let this do its thing. And maybe crack more and come down further. But I think I've done all the cutting I'm going to do today. I got a few good pieces though. I've got an absolute ton of yellow summer squash. So I've been wanting to do this for so long. I didn't get to do it last year, um, but I'm gonna make mock pineapple. Mock pineapple, I love that stuff. Let's start with four cups skinned and chopped summer squash and three quarter cups sugar. And that's what you see in here. I'm just gonna dump it on in there. And just cut the pieces up like you would expect chunk pineapple to be. To that, we're gonna add one and a half cup unsweetened pineapple juice. 
Next, we're going to add one third cup lemon juice. Bring it to a boil and then just let it simmer for, oh, about 10 minutes. Fill your jars that you've already sterilized and wipe the rims and then water bath can it for 15 minutes. Ta-da! Doesn't it look just like pineapple? Just like chunk pineapple? It tastes exactly like it too. And this recipe makes four half pint jars. You can double it, triple it, or whatever. But I love to have this stuff around because I make a salad, like a fruit salad with coconut. It's more like an ambrosia and it's just really delicious. And I just love to eat it right out of the jar or put it over yogurt or um, uh, 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 cottage cheese. And with the leftovers, I just chopped them up, left the skin on, and put them in the dehydrator, but it was taking too long, so I just decided to put them in this little air dehydrator, and they dehydrated just absolutely perfectly well. And I've also got some honey mushrooms dehydrating. And I've got a whole bunch of ripe tomatoes. I've been slicing them up and putting them on sandwiches and other kind of stuff, um, but they're fixing to go bad, so I need to do something with these tomatoes. I got four cups diced tomatoes, and you'll notice that I have not peeled them because the way that I'm going to do this, you'll see, um, I chop them up pretty fine, then I'm going to put them through the little hand crank food processor, and I don't mind the peels at all because I put them in a pot of beans, and they just cook down really, really well, so I've just got four cups of them, and... I just put them in my little handy dandy hand crank food processor and then I'm just going to dice them up. Dice them up as small as small as this thing will get them. And it just kind of makes a nice puree before you even put it into the pot. See that? Doesn't that look gorgeous? You can hardly even see the peels. Just going to put it in a pot and put the lid on and bring it to a boil and cook it for 10 minutes. In the meantime, get my jars ready and it is boiling. So on to the next step. Before we start putting the tomatoes in the jars, I'm adding, you can either add a quarter teaspoon cit citric acid or one tablespoon lemon juice per pint jar, but I'm using half pint, so I'm using half that much. Then just start filling your jars with tomatoes and make sure you have the appropriate headspace. Wipe off the rims, that's very important part. Put on the lids and screw on the bands and then put them in the water bath canner and water bath them for 35 minutes. Three, two, one. They're done. I'm going to just let them sit in here for about five minutes and then pull them out. Look beautiful. They turned out great. Three of them have already sealed and this makes a nice addition to any soup, stew, pot of beans or whatever. You may be concerned that I'm not pressure canning them um, like I did last year. Well, not last year, but the year before. Um, but if you add the citric acid or the lemon juice to the jars and you water bath them for the appropriate amount of time, 35 minutes for a pint. I did half pints, but I let them go for 35 minutes. I think 40 minutes for a quart. Um, it actually takes a long time to get it done, but it turned out great. And uh, one of the jars didn't seal, so I ended up just making a salsa out of that, and it was absolutely delicious. So anyhow, <sighs> that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.